Hi, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. This is Miss Palomino from Highland Town Elementary Middle School, number 237. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020, and this is Middle School ESOL. I hope everyone enjoyed their day off yesterday. There were no classes because of election day, but let's get started today. The weather in Baltimore, today the high temperature will be 92 degrees and the low temperature will be 71 degrees and it will be partly cloudy. Yesterday was Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. And tomorrow will be Thursday, June 4th, 2020. Y hemos hablado de eso, pero solo quiero revisar. Cuando decimos was, estamos hablando del past o del pasado. So was means era o fue o estaba. When we say will be, we are talking about the future. So will be means estará o será o va a ser. Cuando decimos will be, estamos hablando del future o del futuro. When we say is, cuando decimos is, estamos hablando del present, del presente. When we say is, we're talking about something that is true or happening in the present. So is means es o está. And I know you all know this really well because you've done a great job with this in class. Um, we're going to talk about the verb to be. To be means ser o estar. And I know that you know the pronouns I, yo, you, usted, tú, or ustedes. He, él, she, ella, it. Es un poco difícil traducir it, pero es, uh, lo usamos cuando estamos hablando de una situación, o un objeto o algo que no es humano. They, ellos o ellas. We, nosotros o nosotras. So I am, you are, he is, she is. It is, they are, we are. Y eso es cuando estamos hablando del presente. Entonces, si yo digo, I am happy, yo estoy feliz ahora, en este momento, en el presente. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, they are, we are, es del presente. Pero hoy día quiero enfocar en el past. En el pasado. So I want to talk about was and were. Que significa era o fue o estaba. So I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, they were, we were. Entonces si yo digo I was happy, tal vez en este momento no estoy feliz. Porque estoy hablando del pasado, in the past. Y hoy día solo quiero que pongan atención a las palabras was and were, porque mañana vamos a practicar un poco más con eso. So our objective today is I can describe what happened after George Floyd was murdered by the police with dates using sentence frames. So I can describe what happened after George Floyd was murdered by the police with dates using sentence frames. Murder means matar o asesinar. So our objective today is yo puedo describir lo que pasó después de que la policía lo asesinó a George Floyd with dates con las fechas using sentence frames. Y quiero, esto es nuestro objetivo hoy día porque no sé si ustedes han visto las protestas que están pasando por todos los United States, pero quiero hablar un poco sobre por qué estamos protestando, es muy importante. Entonces, hoy día es nuestro objective. Entonces, al final, ustedes van a entregar algo así. What happened last week? ¿Qué pasó la semana pasada? Entonces, al final, quiero que ustedes me digan ¿Qué pasó on Monday, May 25th? ¿Qué pasó on Tuesday, May 26th? ¿Qué pasó on Wednesday, May 27th? ¿Qué pasó on Thursday, May 28th? 
¿Y qué pasó on Friday, May 29th? So our agenda today, we are going to listen, we are going to read, we are going to write sentences with the date, we are going to text or email a photo of our work to Ms. Palomino, o si pueden o si quieren, we are going to turn in our work on Google Classroom. So we're going to talk a little bit about who George Floyd was. George Floyd was a father. He was a truck driver. A truck driver es un camionero. He was a peace activist, un activista por la paz. He was 46 years old. George Floyd was from Houston, Texas. This is Texas. This is Maryland. George Floyd was from Houston, Texas. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd was murdered by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So on May 25th, 2020, George Floyd fue asesinado por un oficial de la policía in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Es el aquí. The police officer, el oficial de la policía, the police officer who murdered George Floyd, que le asesinó a George Floyd, is named Derek Chauvin. Se llama Derek Chauvin. The video of the murder of George Floyd was filmed and shared on social media. El video del asesinato de George Floyd fue filmado y compartido en, la re en las redes sociales. So what happened to George Floyd was horrible and unfair. Lo que le pasó a George Floyd era horrible y injusto. So on Tuesday, May 26, 2020, protests began in Minneapolis, Minnesota. On Tuesday, May 26, 2020, uh, comenzaron las protestas in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is our word of the day, la palabra del día, protest. So to protest means to show that you disagree with something by speaking up or taking action. Protest means that you're showing that you disagree, que no estás de acuerdo with something, con algo, by speaking up, speak up, decir lo que piensa, or taking action. Take action means hacer algo. So protests are a way to say that something is wrong and that things need to change. Las protestas son una manera de decir, to say, that something is wrong, que algo es malo o, o injusto, and that things need to change, que las cosas necesitan cambiar. Many protests are peaceful. En paz o pacífico. Protests are peaceful, gatherings of people, reuniones de gente, who are tired, que están cansados de injustice, de injusticia. Injustice is when something is unfair. Unfair means injusto. So, on Tuesday, May 26, police used tear gas against the protesters. Tear gas is a weapon. Tear gas es una arma. And sometimes protests become violent, violentos o violentas, because police bring weapons, porque la policía tienen armas, weapons, that hurt, que hacen daño, and scare, que asustan, protesters, la gente que están protestando. Sometimes they even arrest them, arrestar. So sometimes protests become violent because police bring weapons that scare and hurt protesters, and sometimes they even arrest them. And these are some examples of weapons that police use against people. So this is a gun, a gun, another gun. This is pepper spray. More examples of weapons that police use. This is a gun, a baton, another baton, here is a baton, and more weapons. This is tear gas, this is tear gas, and this is tear gas, 
and here is another gun. Y la policía usa muchas armas contra personas inocentes. And when they say tear gas, tear, esta es una tear, una lágrima. On Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, protests started in cities all over the United States. Uh, comenzaron protestas por todos los Estados Unidos, por todo el United States. This is Bismarck, North Dakota. This is here in Baltimore, Maryland. This is in Los Angeles, California. This is in Memphis, Tennessee. On Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, protests started in cities all over the United States. On Thursday, May 28th, the governor of Minnesota sent the National Guard to Minneapolis. On Thursday, May 28th, 2020, the governor, el gobernador o el líder del estado de Minnesota, envió, sent the National Guard, la Guardia Nacional, to Minneapolis. The National Guard is a part of the United States military. The National Guard is a part of the United States military. So people who protest are called protesters. La gente que están protestando se dicen protesters. Protesters are brave. Son valientes. Protesters are brave. We are protesting because black people keep getting hurt and killed by the police. Estamos protestando porque black people siguen siendo asesinados por la policía. Kill, killed by police. Kill means matar. We are protesting because black people keep getting hurt and killed by police. Many, many, many black people in the United States are murdered by police officers. Muchos, muchos, muchos black people in the United States son asesinados por la policía. Normally, when black people are murdered by the police, or normally when police officers murder black people, there are no consequences for the police officer. Uh, normalmente, cuando los oficiales de la policía asesinan a black people, no hay consecuencias para el oficial de la policía. And people are protesting because the police in the United States are killing black people every day, and that is unfair. Uh, la gente está protestando porque la policía en los Estados Unidos está matando a black people every day, cada día, and that is unfair. That is injusto. Without protest, seen protests, People might not listen. La gente no escuchan. They don't listen. And unfair things, las cosas injustas, might not change. Tal vez no van a cambiar. On Friday, May 29th, 2020, the police officer named Derek Chauvin was arrested for the murder of George Floyd. On Friday, May 29th, 2020, the police officer, el oficial de la policía, named Derek Chauvin, was arrested, fue arrestado, for the murder, uh, por el asesinato de George Floyd. Protests across the United States are continuing because protests can help change unfair things. And this sign says, Black Lives Matter, o las vidas negras, Importan. Las vidas negras importan. It is important to say that Black Lives Matter because Black people in the United States are treated as if their lives do not matter. Uh, y es importante decir que las Black Lives importan porque Black people in the United States son tratados como si sus vidas no importan. So for this activity, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. I quiero saber what happened last week. ¿Qué pasó on Monday? ¿Qué pasó on Tuesday? ¿Qué pasó on Wednesday? ¿Qué pasó on Thursday? ¿Y qué pasó on Friday? So you can turn in your work on Google Classroom, or you can take a photo of your work and send the photo to Ms. Palomino by email or by WhatsApp. And if you have questions or want to talk, 
you can call or text me.